Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's 9.23, which is Sunday at 10.41 in the morning. I am still tired. I didn't brush my hair. Sorry. But before I start anything, I need my coffee. So I want to show you guys for all my um, coffee lovers and people who don't have electricity or anything or my preppers. Um, I'm going to show you what I use, what we call cafe con leche or coffee with milk. You don't need milk in this if you don't drink it. That's fine. Um, but I decided to make this video because I know a lot of people don't have electricity. It's super, super duper easy. Um, you could just put this on a grill and call it a day or um, wherever you're going to decide to have a um, heating system at. You do need um, milk, any kind of milk that you use or creamer. And I do heat my milk or creamer up in a regular pot. So I have two pots. And then you need your sugar, you need a mug, um, your coffee, of course, and I put mine in a um, mason jar and then I stick it in the refrigerator just because we only make uh, cafe con leche coladol, which is coffee and milk um, in a strainer only on the weekends because I don't have time to do it early in the morning. So I just use my curb machine on that. And then you need the strainer, which is called a colador. Um, let me show you. So here is what it looks like. Now there's some that come in a metal thing. I do not like that one. I end up um, buying one um, like that with the metal on it and it just, you know, metal starts rusting because you got to wash this. So that's why I have a problem with that. If you don't find in your local um, Spanish store, please go to Amazon or eBay. They do sell these. Um, actually, um... I have three. I gave one away, so I got two left. This lasts a pretty long time, and yes, you can invent this. Um, I would, if you don't have anything, just use a knee-high knee stocking and a mason jar lid. Um, like the biggest mason jar lid that you have, and then kind of put the stocking here. And then you can always like sew it by hand really quick and then you have a similarity. The only thing you're not going to have is the handle. Um, and But if you put it in a coffee cup that's smaller like this, it'll stay on it. Or you can actually get a wire hanger. I would kind of tape it around there. Um, the wire, tape the wire around so it won't get rusted. And you have a coffee strainer. Simple and easy. So, okay, so I have the strainer. I have the mug. I have a spoon. Um, and then I have my scooper to scoop the coffee out. And then that's pretty much it. I did get, um, I'm gonna, mm, sorry. Turn this up. So I did get one of these um, at a local, a local, um, Latin store, but um, they only had one left, so I usually actually have two pots, as you can see. I have one pot here for the uh, milk and then one for the coffee. This is pretty good because this kind of material, you can actually stick it in the uh, grill and it won't, it won't cause any damage to it. So, I mean, not that a pot would, so, but it's good to have one of these. I'm going to stick the light right next to it so you guys can see it. Hopefully you guys can. I have to buy, I brought a light and stuff like that, but I'm just waiting for it to come through. Some people just stick the coffee directly, but I just don't feel like uh, switching pots to pots. I'm just going to actually stick the strainer in here. And then I'm going to actually, this is six cups of water. And then I have this little scooper. So it's about maybe a tablespoon of it. And Spanish coffee here is expensive, and it's hard to find, actually. So, all right, so. Three. I just stick a scoop for each, um, for each cup. So 
I'm going to actually bring you closer because I feel like I'm blind with that light. And so what you do is, yeah, you guys can see it. Just keep like bringing it up. Again, um, I know one of my aunts showed me how to make this. Um, and what she does is stick it directly in there and then kind of take this pot and strain it in this one and keep going back and forth with the pot. Uh -uh. I'm just going to actually keep doing this. And once your um, cup, once the water is nice and hot, you can actually um, just keep doing this. This actually is really fast and easy. Again, when you want coffee and you don't like instant coffee, this is the best. It's like actually like doing a tea. You know how you got to keep dumping the tea and you leave it for like um, two minutes, two to five minutes maximum. This I'm only going to leave it for actually, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to do four minutes because we're about a minute. We're about a minute in. So, and as you can see, I'm going to actually turn this on. So I can warm up my milk. It's starting to get um nice and hot. Sorry guys. You could tell it's early in the morning. I gotta pour a lot of milk in there. I got like two cups in in that pot of milk. And again, I'm just actually heating up my milk. And it's smoking because I cleaned the um, stove yesterday. So you'll see that. That kind of happens. It's normal. So. And as you can see, like I said, it's nice. It's turning dark the way it's supposed to be. And again, it's the concept of like doing a tea. And you can see the color. And that's nice and rich. Now, Spanish coffee is very um, roasted and very strong. So, guys, be you know, be careful. Some people say that it makes them, like, very nervous and hyper. And I don't know. I'm good with it. I'm just going to show you the inside of it. we got two more minutes. Actually, you could do this for three to five minutes, but I'm just, I always do mine for five minutes. So. And yes, you can actually, if you don't want to mess up pots because there's no water or anything, you could just throw the milk directly in here. Got one more minute, guys, left. And it is so much done. I hope you guys are having a blessed morning. I'll start feeling hyper once I get this coffee, guys. I promise. <laughs> it's too early in the morning. And just be careful because this is hot. And then there's no more water on the bottom of this. And what you do is actually um, don't throw the coffee grinds. If you guys are um, gardeners, just throw it inside your com compost. Um, you can use the coffee grind for it. It's actually good for them. All right, so that is that. As you can see, it's still nice and hot. You can add your um, milk directly in there, but I don't do it that way. So, that's my concept of cafe con leche or coffee and milk, guys. I'll see you guys in a few minutes with the um, newspaper for the um, coupon section. 
and we can actually talk about how's the sale going on. Um, um, I just cleared out the uh, the uh, timer because it's nice and rich and thick right now. So um, it's really actually roasted dark. So um, I don't need that light no more. And again, that's pretty much it. The way I pour my coffee, it's so easy. Hopefully I'll make a mess, but right, we lie. We um, I don't I don't edit my videos, so whatever you see, you get. I just feels like um, it is not necessary for me. Um, let me do this on the sink. Okay. Right, so you see the color that's how I like my color doesn't add too you can't add cream to this I just like I like heating up the coffee um and the milk because the coffee is nice and hot but the problem is once you get the uh, the coffee inside the cream or the milk it gets cold again and it feels like you gotta reheat the whole thing up so and the sugar that I'm using is Lorena sugar, which is pure cane sugar. You can find this anywhere. I, got, I usually get it at Walmart. They're like a dollar, two dollars, dollar ninety nine. I don't know, something like that. Two, three, no more than two dollars. I've never paid more than two dollars for that. And I stirred a hell out of my um, cup because. I like the um, sugar to disintegrate. I don't like to get to be in the bottom of the, these pants are so big on me, um, the bottom of the thing. So I like to kind of stir it up. All right, guys, I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> there is a God. There's a coffee God. <laughs> guys, have a blessed day. You guys going to church, keep us in prayer like always. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'll see you on the few. Bye, darlings.